morning YouTube. It has been a long time trying to get back into the swing of things. So I know you've heard me give this speech a million times. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if there is videos, tag videos, any type of videos that you want to see, let me know because I'm trying to get back my creative juices and motivation to do those things that I love. So yeah. <clears throat> this week's reading vlog is going to be focused on the Muggle Studies book club pick. So, mm. why does coffee make everything so much better? The Muggle Studies book club pick for September was going to be Jay Kristoff's Empire of the Vampire, but then that got pushed back until next year because of COVID. So, we did a poll on my Twitter, choosing between two books, and it looked like it was going to be, it was like tying, so I tweeted out again with the same link to the poll, saying, hey guys, you're, you're not supposed to tie it, please vote if you haven't, and more people voted, and it tied up again. So, <laughs> with that said, we just decided to pick, and we decided to go with a very large expanse of sea. Uh, we do have the 19th year anniversary of 9-11 coming up and this one is all about a girl who is Muslim in America a year after 9-11 and her experiences. So that is what I'm going to be reading this week so far and I may pick up some other things but I am very determined to finish this one this week because last month it took me all month to read Breaking No Midnight Sun. That is my morning update. In other news, I have become a plant person, so maybe I'll include that in this week's reading vlog. Leave me a comment down below if you like seeing people's plants. But I've like grown my... I, I have a lot of plants all of a sudden. I have... 13 plants now <laughs> so I don't know when that happened but that happened now so that is my update for Monday August 31st and I will check back with you guys tonight hey guys it is now about seven o'clock on Monday and I wanted to give you an update so I've been listening and reading along with a very large expanse of sea and I am really really enjoying this i really like the writing and which is very surprising because i was not a fan of shatter me series uh i didn't jive with the writing style but this one is very different and i really like her voice in this and it's just a very interesting point of view from a muslim girl trying to decipher if people are treating her as Racism has a play with it. I don't know how better to phrase that um, Or if they're just having a bad day and they're just shitty to everybody um, and It's very interesting to hear that uh, tone and I can I can't imagine having to Have that filter in my day-to-day -day life and I know I'm very fortunate that I don't have to deal with that is to know if people are being shitty to me because they're being shitty to everyone or they're being shitty to me because they're racist so that is my update i'm on page 122 i'm flying through this it is really good and really thought provoking and i'm really enjoying this one um i think this is definitely under hyped this book on goodreads is like above a four but i feel like we don't really hear a lot of people talk about this um I heard it like a little bit when it came out and of course Woody Novels championed it and I believe she also sent out um, she bought this book for Muslim girls or Muslim people in general um, to be able to read and own voices because she really loved this book but that was the only person who I really heard talk about this so if you have been sleeping on this book I would recommend picking it up, but I haven't finished it yet, but I'm really, really enjoying it. So that is my Monday update, and I'm just going to probably make some dinner and listen to more of it, and I will check back with you guys tomorrow.
Hey guys, it is now Wednesday at about 8 o'clock and I wanted to update you on my reading. I am in love with this book. It's got to be one of the best ones I've read this year. Um, I think it's majorly underhyped even for being Tahir Mafi and way more people should be reading this book. Um, it's so good and so unlike anything that I've read because I'm not familiar with the experiences that our main character is going through and the prejudices that she is having to deal with because of how she chooses to present herself and it's so good. Um, I am almost done with it. I'm flying through it. Um, I'm on chapter 28 so at 2.46 and this is such an important book and I can't wait for the live show. Please read it and join us. It's going to be on my channel and I think it's just going to be a really good discussion and I hope y'all like it as much as I do because this is such a good book and it's rough. It tackles a lot of like serious issues <laughs> that we have. But things aren't going to get better unless we confront it. So I'm really, really enjoying it as you can you can imagine. I, I mean, I'm flying through it. So I'm going to continue reading this and I will probably finish it tonight. If not tomorrow, I'm going to finish it tonight. So I'm really, really enjoying this. And yeah, go pick it up because definitely underhyped. Okay, so it's not much later. I just want to update you because something I like to do in these vlogs is when I read a really powerful message, I like to read that to you guys. Um, you guys should definitely go pick the book up and read the whole thing because all of it's fantastic. But particularly this part, it just needs to be shared. It says, I tried to tell him that the bigots and the racists had always been there. And he said he'd honestly never seen them like this. And he never thought they could be like this. And I said, yes, I know. I said, that's how privilege works. And it's just, people need to know that. That just because they don't see something happening doesn't mean it's not happening. It just means that you have the privilege to not experience those horrible things. And we shouldn't question people when they tell you that something is happening. With any race, with any gender, it's common decency to believe people when they say something. Especially when it's an overwhelming amount of people telling you something is happening. It's not your place to tell them that their experience isn't true. Um, your, your place is to listen and be better. And I'm gonna get off my soapbox before it gets too much into this. It's such a good book and I'm, you know, with the social climate the way that it is right now, I'm gonna say, if you are not respectful in the comments, I will delete you straight off my page because I'm not going to tolerate anything that is harmful. So that's all I have to say. I'm gonna keep reading and I think everybody should read this. Hey guys, it is now, what day is it? Thursday, just before 10, I am leaving for work here in a moment um but i wanted to update you guys i did finish a very large expanse of sea last night and it was so amazingly good and the ending crushed me and i cannot wait to discuss it all with you guys um let me know because this video is going to go up before the live show let me know down below if you've read this, I was reading some, not negative, negative reviews, 
but like not five star reviews because I'm mind blown that this could not get five stars. Um, and they were complaining about the romance and I'm like, that was not, I have so many thoughts. <laughs> I don't ship them together, but I understand their ferocity in the relationship. Also, if you're focusing on the relationship, you're taking away the wrong aspects of this book. So that's just kind of how I feel about it. I super loved this one. It's got to be in my top five so far that I've read this year. And I can't wait to talk about it with you guys. So stay tuned for our live show, which will be at the uh, beginning of the month slash end of this month. Um, I can't wait to talk about it with you guys. So five out of five stars, obviously for me. And now I am picking up, I was just looking through my library because you know, why read the books I have on audiobook. Um, and this was, came up as a like lucky day, uh, audiobook, which means you cannot renew it. Um, so you get to like skip the line and the line was like four weeks to get this audiobook, but they had like an extra copy. I don't know how that does the whole system. I don't understand that. But um, You Are Not Special by Megan Rinks, who is an actress and YouTuber. Um, I used to be obsessed with back in the day. I loved her. Um, and she reads the audiobook and she talks a lot about anxiety and um, ADHD and things like that. She's also a Harry Potter fan. Or she was back in the day, that's what made me love her so much, that she was a beauty guru who was also a nerd. And she also does the podcast, um, Don't Blame Me, which I like listening to as well, which is an advice podcast. So I like was wanting to pick this up anyway, so I'm pretty excited that I get to listen to the audiobook because she reads it. So I'm gonna be picking up this one and it'll give me a little change of pace because I need something a little bit light, more lighthearted after a very large expense to see because rough, rough things happened. So that is my update and I will check back with you guys tonight. Hey guys, I'm going to quickly wrap up this last, or this week's reading vlog. It is now Sunday night and I'm editing and realized I didn't close this out. So I am still listening to my audiobook. You're Not Special by Megan Rinks. This one I am, says 20% of the way through. I'm like an hour and 40 minutes and I'm enjoying it for like just an easy to listen to um, biography. So far it's just talking about like her high school days so it's not as relatable as things are but I'm hoping we're gonna get more into her adult life. Um, so I am enjoying that it's a bit slower definitely not as much enjoying that as my so, um to hair mafi but uh, that is what i am reading it's very easy to digest um so i'm still in the middle of that but i wanted to show you guys i did do a little bit of updating so i decided to move my library out here so I've decided to, yes, there is Watson, he wanted to say hello. I decided to give it a shot out here and try rainbow books for the first time, which I'm kind of digging. So that is my new setup. I am hoping that I will enjoy this setup more and I will feel more creative out here. So. That is going to be this last update, and I will see you guys next week for my next reading vlog. Thank you for watching. Bye.